Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I'm Lutra FM. This is episode two of the TW 2020 Fight Club Pro uh, Local to Global Save. Um, from the previous episode, if you haven't watched it, basically the premise of the save is to take Fight Club Pro. Uh, you, it's a promotion in real life that, that got, um, there's no longer, I don't think it's running shows anymore, I think. Um, and basically I've recreated them on TW, but they've got zero reputation and everything else. They've, I've done it as, as hard as possible. So we only start with, um, I think it was 12,000 or something stupid like that, the budget. So, um, basically I've done it as hard as made it as hard as possible for me. I've managed to, the previous episode, I managed to get the, the, the people in that I wanted to get in, wrestlers, road agents, refs, etc. And then basically did my first show, which actually did surprisingly well. I got an 82 rating for my first show and increased my popularity in the region of the West of the Midlands, which is where um, the promotion is based. So we're now fast forward. I fast forwarded to this show here. So this episode will be dedicated to doing second, third and fourth shows of this save. So every episode moving forward will probably have like two or three events. And then maybe after 12 months, I might look at getting a, trying to get a small weekly regular show, but we'll, we'll walk before we can run. Um, because obviously when you add another event, it's going to cost you money. And at the moment we're basically just breaking even. So, um, the merchandise has been upgraded to amateur. That's the only thing worth mentioning in since the last episode. So here we are. So this event's called the Dream Tag Team Invitational. So I've officially only got three tag teams available because um, I did have Millie McKenzie and Charlie Evans, but they're unfortunately wrestling elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is basically, we'll just do that and then that. Um, yeah, so these are the tag teams we have available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these who are... Oh, one's a heel, one's a baby face. Right, I need to do something about that before I do anything else. Let's just cancel that for a second. Uh, we'll put Connor Miller's as a baby face, I think. Right, so that should make it easier. So then what we'll do... Actually, no, no, we'll stick with what I was going to do. It doesn't matter. Um... Right, so we're going to do that one, that one, that one. So we'll do, yep, and then they will go, they will go against the Dynamic Dew. So that'll be the first match we book. So they we're just going to do the two semi finals. We haven't got enough tag teams. Um, and we'll do this as maybe Steam, no, Steam the show probably won't be. A good idea considering the Billington brothers are not very experienced, so they might not be able to do that. So we do that. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll do another match and we'll do the other remaining tag team that we've got, which is Hunter Brothers. And then what we'll do is we'll just find two male heels that can go against them so male there we go so if we go probably our kenny williams and joseph connors i think would be a good tag team okay oh i know what i've done uh sometimes when you drag it across it doesn't bloody work the way you want it to All right, we'll do that, and then we'll open match, decisive win. Uh, oh, we need to figure out who's going to win this, don't we, so we can do the final. So what I'll do is I'll probably have Jim and Lee win this one. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, no. There we go, tag team. Uh, Kenny Williams isn't happy about that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let me think. Hard on there. Won't have the tag titles on. 
will protect Kenny Williams. So even though he's not happy, if we protect him, I went too far, didn't I? Protect, there we go. Protect Kenny Williams. He is our world champion after all. And then we'll keep him strong as well. It will affect the match, I think. But at least it will get round upsetting him. That's fine. Oh, actually, I will put the tag titles on, actually. Right, there you go. Tag titles. So everybody's happy-ish. Um, so that's them. So that's the... We need to figure out who's going to win this one. I think we'll probably do the... Yeah, the Billingtons, I think. Hopefully the other wrestlers will be okay with that. Yeah, they are. Thank God for that. Right, so they're them. And then we'll do... If it lets me. What we'll do is we'll do a... Uh, Let's think of a match we can do. Do that first. Mm, do, 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 do. Tables match, I think. Uh, table, land, and chairs. There you go. We'll do a TLC match. And we'll do it as 28 minutes. Hopefully, the Hunter Brothers can. Last that long, bless them. I don't mean that as a, a disrespectful thing to them. They're very nice blokes. Um, but yeah, they're getting on a bit. Oh, I wish this would drag across properly. There we go. Right, so that's that. And then we'll put, we'll have Jim and Lee win it. We don't want them to lose the tag titles after just winning them as well. And we'll put still the show. Open match. Decisive win. Uh, allow high risk moves. Allow that. And we'll see if we'll see if one of the these wrestlers wants will be willing to take a bump. Uh shall we try Jim Hunter? No. Lee Hunter? No. Mark Billington, there you go. We'll have Mark Billington take a Mark Billington, sorry, take a crazy bump. That's fine. I didn't expect them to be too happy about that. So push that one up there. That's the main event. These are two, and then we just got to put some filler matches in now. So we've done seventy nine minutes. Uh, we've got we got to do some angles, I suppose. I oh, know. Hold on. We're expecting the show to around ninety percent. So, 10% of 112 is like 11 minutes in it. So, we'll just do two angles. We'll do Lee, microphone, Jim, microphone, Mark. Mike. Oh, this might affect the rating because they're probably not very good on the mic, but we've got to, we've got to get them better on the mic. And that, sometimes you've got to make that sacrifice. Push that up there. Right. Uh, we need to do probably a couple more matches first. And then we'll probably do one more angle to fit that. So, right. Let's have a look. Let me quickly look at my storylines. Ginny versus Martina. So we'll do Ginny versus Martina now. Uh, like so. And then... There you go. So that's that one. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll, I won't pick a winner. I'll just see. We'll leave it as that. So, and then there's another. Hold on, we'll do an angle. We'll do Ginny attacking Martina after, after the match. After the match. Right, I don't know whether to add another. No, I think I'll leave it as that. So that's that. I'm going to save it just in case the computer crashes or anything. So right, let's start this show and let's see how we get on. I don't think it will do as well as last one, but we'll see. 
Right, so Ginny and Martina had a decent match. Got a 76 rating. Uh, Martina beat Ginny. So that's good. Got to start the show started on a good, steady foot. Um, the angle that they did only got a 26, but the angle got the crowd hotter, so that's, that's what matters. The Tag Team Invitational, um, obviously the Hunter Brothers beat Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors. Got a 64 rating. Uh, Joseph Connor's got a 75 match rating. Kenny Williams got an 80. So Kenny Williams moving forward has probably got to be the MVP of the, the figurehead, basically, of the promotion. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, so this uh, the storyline continues. Oh, there we go. We've got a new superstar tag team in the making. Um, Joseph Connor and Kenny Williams. So we're going to add them because we could always do with more tag teams. So Joseph... Any suggested name? I don't know. What's auto name? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just have a look. Oh, can you see all this? Oh, you can't see what I'm seeing. Um, just to let you know, I'm just I'm just adding Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams as a tag team. It's quicker for me to tell you than actually add the screen so you can see it and all that. Lot. But I'm just trying to pick... Oh, no. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to add the screen. Just bear with us. Right, there you go. No, is that it? No, that one. There you go. Right, you'll see this in a second. There you go. Because of the nature of this game, it's not as uh, easy to do it when it comes to recording streaming, so you just have to bear with us. There's probably people way better than me doing this that know how to do this quicker, but yeah, just have to bear with us. But yeah, I'll just call them the new elements. It sounds like a... A name that they would probably call themselves but yeah i've got a new decent tag team now so that helps so we'll just continue the show and in a match that's superb wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd a dynamic duo defeated destination elsewhere so that got a 66 rating uh michael oku was probably the standout performer which is expected uh as always thomas chamberlain could have done better Fixing that so, and then we did a uh, an angle afterwards where we did the Hunter Brothers and the Billington Brothers basically going back and forth on the microphone. Got a twenty four rating. Um, literally all of them struggled um, without a script, so I need to make sure they're scripted next time. Uh, Lee Hunter was all right though, and Jim Hunter's getting better at his gimmicks. That's good. And then in the main event, which unfortunately got a 30 rating, uh, the Hunt Brothers defeated the Dynamic Duel in a, two L uh, a TLC match. So the match dragged at the end and was too long for the workers to all that pace. So that's my fault. What I probably should have done was slowly build and I forgot to put it in there. So it's things that we'll, we'll figure it out as we're going along. The match got the crowd buzzing. So at least we're keeping the fans happy. But this rating won't be very good. It still increased um, our popularity though, so that's good. We've only got a 41 rating. So yeah, so that's good. Um, we'll just see if there's anything worth mentioning in the news items. And then I'll um, come back in a minute with the next part of the video. Right, no, nothing to tell you about. So right, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Welcome back to part two. Um, just to confuse you, I basically recorded the first bit the other day and this bit now. So try not to worry too much about the change of attire. But um, here we are. I forwarded it to the next show, um, Infinity. And we have £1,212 in the bank. Uh, last month, we only lost £191, which isn't too bad. We have a 3% momentum. Um, let me just have a look to see if there's anything. So the franchise players are Joseph Connors, Martina, Kid Lycos 2, Anton Smith and Leo Hunter. Next big things is Charlie Evans, Doris, uh, Alia James, Luke Jacobs and Drew Parker. Uh, hot prospects, Alia James, Luke Jacobs, Ginny, Millie McKenzie, Danny Luna. Best people on the mic is Martina, Kenny Williams, TK Cooper, Doris. 
Chardonnay, Showstoppers is Sadie Gibbs, Mike Loku, Kid Like Us 2, Kenny Williams, and Martina. So maybe we'll look at adding a storyline with Martina. I oh, know, I think Martina's in a storyline with Ginny. Um, Ring Generals, we've got Joseph Connors, Martina, Morgan Webster, Charlie Evans, and Luke Dragon Phoenix. And at the moment, who's hot is Jim and Lee Hunter, Kenny Williams, Martina, and Candy Floss. Uh, and who's not is Kid Like Us 2, Darice, and Connor Mills. So, right, let's book our next show. Right then. So, I'm going to start with a 2 versus 2, sorry, a three way tag match. That's one month. There you go. Um, just going to do that first and then do that. So we've got uh, Dynamic Duo, we've got the Hunter Brothers, and we've got a new tag team of Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams. And then we've got the tag titles on the line. Um, I'm going to have this one steal the show. Uh, open match. Decisive win. And then I'm going to uh, allow high risk moves and allow spinal impact moves. Yep, that's fine. Oh, actually, no, I bet I have. I think it's the hunters, aren't they? Yeah, we'll have Jim and Jim and Lee win this one. All the way from Tutsu. Joseph Connors is okay. We're gonna we're gonna change this because I don't want to upset Joseph Connors because he's supposed to be one of my best guys. So we'll call an audible. We'll have another tag team of Kid Lycos and Darice. I'm hoping that they're both same. He's a baby face. Ah, uh, Darice isn't. So we'll put Lion Kid in there. So I'll have the two mask guys together. Change that. There we go. Um, we'll have Joseph Connors. We'll do a four way singles. Joseph Connors. And then we'll pick baby faces so we'll have uh, Morgan Webster put Kenny Williams as the other one and then we'll have Luke Jacobs in there give him a bit of rub I'll just leave this as an open match decisive win uh, I think one of them's the champion, isn't he? Yeah, Kenny Williams is the champion. Hold on, I need to have Kenny Williams win this one. Right, and then we'll put that to the main event. Uh, and then what we'll do is do another four way match. We'll have women. So I'll have Leah James in there, Millie McKenzie, Sadie Gibbs, Ginny. What we'll do, we'll do storytelling for this one. Uh, where is it? There you go, storytelling. Open match. All in the uh, decisive finish. <clears throat> we'll book that. So, right. Um, I want to put Mo Michael Oku in a match. We'll just have it as a singles match, though. Uh, Michael Oku. Uh, Michael Oku is a 
big face, so we'll go heel. Uh, Liam Slater maybe, Reese. I think I'll put Reese in there. And uh, we'll leave that as normal. Right, we've done a hundred minutes showing us between. Right, we're going to do another match. Sorry, um, I'll just do an angle first with Joseph Connors. Andy Williams um, we'll put Martina in there because she's apparently good on the mic as well I can't remember who else was good on the mic but we'll do that push that up there and then what we'll do is we'll do a free versus free match uh, male Faces first, so we'll do Connor Mills, Ashton Smith, um, Amari. Yeah, I'll put Amari in there. And then the Hills, put Liam Slater, Luke Phoenix, if it lets me do it. There we go. Uh, TK Cooper. Sorry if my voice is a bit croaky, by the way. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a sore throat. Right, we'll do that open match. Decisive win. Uh, we're doing, we need to do four more minutes, so we'll do another angle. And we'll do Michael Oku on the mic. And who's his, who was his opponent again? Michael Derice, there we go. Right, and we'll push that. There we go. Right, there's some issues here, so let's have a look. Thomas Chamberlain's moving, okay. So we could probably do with, after this one, we could probably do with getting some more road agents. Right, there we go. So that's that set. So let's see how we get on. So the three versus three match. Got a 55 rating. Uh, Connor Mills, Ashton Smith and Amari won. When Ashton Smith pinned Luke Dragon Phoenix. Um, best performer was probably TK Cooper, I think. Worst performer was Liam Slater. Uh, Ashton Smith was off his game, apparently. Thomas Chamberlain. I think I might have to get rid of Thomas Chamberlain as a road agent and get somebody better in by the looks of it. So that's okay start. Uh, the angle we've uh, should have scripted them. Actually, let's let's go back to the other angle and let's do script, script, and then script. Right there we go. Let's continue the show. So the match uh, got a 53 rating. Michael Oku lost to Doris by submission. Doris was the better in room worker. So it's an old, the problem with this one, it's an old database. Uh, it's a Landex database for people who play TW. So we have me and my friend Josh um, updated it as best as possible, but I think a lot of the, the wrestlers haven't had any boosts in their tributes, so it's going to be a bit disfortunate. But it's still a better mod than the the ones the modern mods modern mod modern I can't get my words out say the modern mods that come out simply because of the fact that um they don't they're not very good at, at getting the popularity right and stuff like that and the attributes right. So even though this is an old one, and even though there's there's quite a few workers on here that need boosts, um, which I can do when using the editor offline, um, at the end of the day, it's it's still better than what what else is out there. So um, Michael Oku and Doris do not click, so we try not to put them in a match anymore. And then obviously Thomas Chamberlain. Um, so I think from now on, any matches with Thomas Chamberlain, 
or any angles. We're just going to put somebody else in there, I think. We can't be trusted. Right. Put Doug Williams on there. Johnny Kidd's doing that one, so that's fine. And then Doug Williams is doing that work. So let's continue the show, see how we go. Um, the angle with Martina, Joseph Connors, Kenny, um, Kenny Williams. Got a 36 rating. And then the four-way women's match. Got a 58 rating. Best match of the night by the looks of it so far. Ginny was the standout performer, 61. Uh, Aaliyah James won that match, which is quite surprising. Um, the tag team, the freeway tag team match got a 63 rating. The Hunter Brothers retained their title. Um, and then we, I think the standout performer was the, the Billington Brewers. Oh no, sorry, Kid Lycos got an 80 rating, so that's good. So maybe we need to push him more as a single star. Um, because he's quite, he's quite a good worker. And then the match dragged at the end too long so maybe shorter match next time and then the main event got a, a whopping 81 rating which was really good um, Kenny Williams retained his title then Luke Jacobs stand up performer was Kenny Williams with 79 rating and uh, yeah that's good so how, how did we do um, first of all we had 30 people I think, think it's the highest crowd we've had so far could be wrong I'll check in a minute and the show overall got a 71 rating, which was mostly probably because of that 81 rating there. And uh, increased our popularity in eight in one region. I'm just going to give Kid Lycos some praise. There you go. Yeah, right then. Um, let's just wait for this to finish first, see if there's any news items. Right, so there's new news items. Uh, is there anything more in the wrestling world worth telling you about? Right, so we are £5,000 in debt now. Uh, we've lost, yeah, we need to do something about that. Uh, Sadie Gibbs has got big morale issues, so maybe I need to push her. But yeah, first of all, I need to do, before I forget, is get rid of Thomas Chamberlain. So we'll do that. Yep, so he's gone. Um, so what I'm going to do off, in, offline is I'm going to find a better road agent, one or two maybe, uh, help with the workload, and then I'll be back with the next show in a minute. Right, and we're back with the next show. Um, we were £5,000 in the red, we're now 2000 so we've earned a little bit of money. Uh, if I can just quick look at finances. So yeah, so... We are not doing well financially, but we're not doing terrible. I mean, every most wrestling promotions don't exactly do very well at the start. So we just got to be, and I think it was because of the fact they booked so many wrestlers in one go. So I think that's probably what didn't help me look here. Um, yeah, see, April. See, I made, I made that mistake that I did in the first show. So I need to just be a bit careful. Um, show costs as well. Um, I think Infinity was that special, one of the special events, but I can't, I can't see it at the moment. So anyway, um, yeah. So let's go to the next show. And oh, um, right. We're just doing. We're just going to probably do one-on-one -on -one matches in this one. So we're going to do Lion Kid, I think. Versus uh, Ty, Ty Grally for this one, see how he gets on. We'll do 20 minutes, Lion Kid, open match, decisive win. There we go. So we'll do that, book that one. That's the first match. And then what do we do now? Um, so we'll do Martina. Oh, we can't book Martina. She's not. She's not available. So we'll do Millie. We can't book Millie. 
Okay, let's see who we can book. On the women's side, so Ginny is a heel. Oh, Sadie Gibbs. Uh, she's a heel as well, annoyingly. But yeah, right, we'll do Sadie Gibbs versus Candy Floss. So, we'll book that one. Now, we'll book it 20 minutes. Uh, Sadie Gibbs win. And what we'll do, we'll do an angle. We use Sadie Gibbs on the mic. Actually, no, we'll do an angle where she beats up Candy Floss after the match. See how that goes for an angle. Push that there. Push that down there. Right. Um, let's do another singles match. We'll do... Mark Billington versus um, who have I got the tag? Oh yeah, Lee Hunter. The open match, decisive win. And then we'll book the other look. We'll, we'll book the other one. We'll book Thomas versus Jim Hunter. Open match as always. Decisive win. Oh, okay. So Jim Hunter can't do a match that long, so we'll try 15. Yeah, he's all right. He can do 15. So that's good. And then we'll do an angle afterwards where we'll do Thomas fighting, Mark fighting, um, Lee selling, Jim. Selling. Uh, how long have we done so far? 95 minutes. Okay. We do Joseph Connors versus uh, Ashton Smith, maybe. that we'll put storytelling in that one I think and we'll do open match we'll do slow build decisive win I think I've done that right um, there was on the first video I posted somebody very nicely commented giving me booking advice but I, stupid, I stupidly forgot to look at it before recording this video so I can't remember what he suggested. So if you're watching the second video and I've done exactly the same as I did in the first video, I apologize and I will remember for the next uh, video I do, hopefully. But yeah, um, right, we've got one more match in us, I think. And we'll do Kenny Williams defending his heavyweight title against... Uh, Morgan Webster or Amari? Let's do Amari. Kenny can retain it. And we'll do Still the Show, Open Match, Decisive Win. We go Slow Build as well. I think I'm probably counteracting each other, but actually, no, let's get rid of the Slow Build because I think that's going to. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. I, got, I think I remember some of the advice that guy gave me on the comment section. So we'll just do that. Right. Oh, okay. They don't want to do it that long. Okay, so we'll do 20 minutes. Okay, that's fine. We'll knock it down to 15. There you go. Right, we just need to push this up here. Just to quick do an angle with Kenny Williams. Microphone. Omari, we won't rate him on anything, just to be on the safe side. 
Right, well, I'll leave that as that. I think that's okay from what I can see. Yep, let's start the show. Oh, okay. Uh, this one in it, no. This one in it. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, wait. Well. Jim Hunter's brought some friends backstage. Can you see what I can see? Oh, you can't see that. Okay, so because I keep forgetting that you can't see every screen, um, I'll just read what it says. It basically read an incident where Jim Hunter brought some friends backstage, breaking the locker room rules. So basically, I, I, I've got a, a rule in the backstage thing that nobody can bring anybody outside of the wrestling business in or something. No outsiders, basically. Um, so I'm just going to put slap on the wrist. He cannot deal with Jim Hunter yet. Okay, well, oh, I don't know what I don't know what to do here. It won't let me start the show. Oh, for God's sake! Where am I? Right, so it won't let me start the show, and then it won't let me do anything. I tell you what, I'll, I'll I'll show you on the screen, so you can see what I can see. Right, just need to add it for two seconds. This is the annoying thing about this software, you have to do all this whacking around. Right, there you go, you can see what I can see. I think, all right, we do view, can you see that? No, so I have to add another one. Oh, this is the only downside about uh, doing stuff for TW, is you have to whack around with this. All the time. Right. So, stern warning. You cannot deal with, telling me on here, you cannot deal with Jim Hunter yet, as he's currently booked in one of the show in the segment. So that means now I've got to basically delete the two, and then rebook them in a minute. So this is really annoying. Uh, right now it's my fault in hindsight because I probably should have checked the incidents before I did it right can I do it now slap on the wrist right thank you now I've got to rebook it what a stupid stupid thing that is right so we do the angle first so we do um, Thomas no, no, fighting, sorry. Mark, fighting. Lee, selling. Jim, selling. We'll do that, and then we'll do the match. There we go, like so. Yeah, you can't see that's wrong. Right, now we'll start the show, hopefully. <sighs> right, here we go. So, 54 rating for the Thomas Billington versus Jim Hunter match. Thomas Billington won. Uh, Storyline further, Jim Hunter was really up in his game. Sticks could have done better, great. So Sticks is not good enough. Uh, the match was too short, but that's nothing I can do. It's unlimited with Jim Hunter, and he can do 15 minutes. So I'm just going to... Sticks on that one, no. Sticks is on that one, so we'll just change him to Steve Logan. Johnny Kidd. It's very hard to find decent road agents when you're a small promotion, basically. So you have to kind of just tinker around and hope for the best. Uh, that one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. 
that one's okay. So the rest of the show is fine. As I've got sticks involved, I will get rid of him at some point after this show. So the second match between the tag teams, got a 63 rating. Mark Billington beat Lee Hunter. And that did better than the other match. Um, this this match uh, got the crowd up as well, which is good. Uh, we did a beat down angle afterwards, got a 33 rating. Uh, did an angle with Kenny Williams on the mic and he worked the crowd really well. So he got 47 rating. Uh, Joseph Connors defeated Ashton Smith, got a 63 rating. Lion Kid defeated Tiger Ali, that got a 49 rating. Lion Kid, not very good in the ring, but hopefully over time he will get better. Sadie Gibbs defeated uh, Candy Floss, got a 62 rating. Sadie Gibbs not very good in the ring. Luckily, Candy Floss is decent-ish. Did the angle afterwards where um, Sadie Gibbs attacked Candy Floss after the match, got a 23 rating. And then the main event only got a 72 rating, but it was still decent. Uh, Kenny Williams defeated Omari in 14 minutes by submission. He's made his second defense of the title. Um, the match was a little too, bit, bit too short, but unfortunately I was limited in how long Amari could go in the ring. But the, the match got the crowd buzzing, so that's good. We got a 65 rating, which is not as good as the other show, but it still increased our popularity. So I'm just going to praise Kenny Williams. All right, so that's that. Um... We'll just quickly look on here to see if there's any news items or um, we'll look at the finances quickly before we go as well. Um, hopefully you'll like this video just as much as you like the last one. Let me know in the comment section uh, if there's anything you want me to change on it. But yeah, 4,000 in the red. So we lose about 2,000 a show, but at least that's not as bad as the other one where we lost four, the, the previous show we lost 4,000. So uh, swings and roundabouts, hopefully we can uh, get a little bit better over time. I think these things just naturally happen. So yeah, right then. I'll, uh, I'm going to call it a day for this episode, but thank you everyone as always um, for watching. And It's a new series, but I'm enjoying it and I hope you're enjoying it too. Thank you also, before I go to everyone in the uh, on the Facebook groups and the Facebook group chat, I really appreciate your support. I think most of the people who watched the last video were from the Facebook chat I was in to do with TEW. So I really appreciate that, lads. Um, much appreciate. And I'll be back in a couple of days with another episode. Try. I'm going to try and do two or three episodes a week, hopefully, if it's well received. I'll, I'll start with two and then maybe add another episode if it uh, continues to do well. But yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All the best. Bye.